going live right guys can you hear me and it's four past four let's start at seven past start in three minutes Less than two minutes. With me is Radaus today. Hi there. Uh, we'll uh, do as a two-person team this ICPC sub-regional sub contest. Hi, Angerworm, Don Shivi. Hi there. We might speak some Polish during a contest from time to time, you know, when we discuss a problem quickly. I'm pinging on Discord that the stream has started. What for that? The courier. Does Radeus have his own PC? No, no. In ICPC, you use one computer. So sometimes he will sit here. Yeah, that's true. Okay, they will see us both. Maybe I will adjust the camera later. Okay. 15 seconds. Hi, guys. I'm not going to read the chat uh, during the contest. So also no spoilers. If you have any idea for a solution, anything like that, uh, don't write that in the chat. If you see somebody else spoiling problems, uh, tell him that he shouldn't, right? Wish us good luck. Letters will denote who is reading which problem and working on which problem. Like Radeus and Eric too. Jeśli się nudzisz, to coś sobie wybierz. A, to jest sobie wybierz.
Nic nie padło. Weź daj zielone tło tutaj. Naciśnij na E i to zielone tło. Zawkit. A to też. Napisałem się jak długo nas. Makra czy mój rozp. Sandra. Ja to się będę dobrze idzie. No, chciałem właśnie tak moje padłowik no. wyrzuć zabinąłeś? nie 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 łatwiej tak? Mytmy? nie 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 Przeczytaj tam. 
Chat, everything's all right? Uh, yeah, Radosh uses Genito. Jakie? Insta. Jakie? Insta. Ha, Insta e, mniej niż minuta, bo jeśli nie to... Ma półtorej. To, to nie, znajdź sobie coś. Bierze dashboardy. E, K, a to twoje padło. Dalej. Ja dokończę swoje, więc znajdź sobie Dalej. coś. No dobra. Dzięki. Okay. Tutaj jeśli się nudzisz tam ha. Dzieści dziewięć. E, czy A padło? Czy H padło? A nie, nic więcej nie padło. O, E padło. E, to też zwróć. To raz padło, więc łatwo.
supposed to here let's open submit computer volume Oh, I need to make the today comment. I'm doing this now. Mm. And the today comment should work now. Maybe not. Yeah, uh, it does work. And no spoilers. Is it black at screen on YouTube? I don't know what you mean. R actually stands for Mateusz, Radeusz. I don't protect that people. Maybe it's wrong, but. Let's try to find out who won. Something. And H. Uh, you didn't solve this? Or you did? uh, I didn't. I, oh, um, H was solved. Yeah. Okay. So I, d I didn't read that. Put E for H. Yeah, sure. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Granit. Test tu. Oh. Aye. I'm going to ask organizers of the contest for this file. By organizers, I mean Mike. Not my name. No. Not this Mike. I don't want to use PC.
Dziękuję za was. To muszę jeszcze coś spróbować. Świeże dashboarda. Mm, nic nie mogę. Ok. Ja. Eee, H, nie? Ja. H. Recent used green. Mogę prosić? Nic. Nie to give me an Wow. Przeczytaj dwa stawki. Wiemy. Tak. Skopiowaliśmy makra przecież. Yes, it is like a training session.
Yeah, the first problems are always easy in those contests. You know, you need some variety. Is it compact? Let's hear pictures of quick Oh. Yeah, it's
Can I just Otvořil jsem třetí, nech jsem si dojde vybrat, že to už věrný je. Lepší dobyť v tom? Ne, zvládám přesně.
Zajmie mi to z minuty wydrukowanie, ale potem już sprawdzę. A dwa PS. A może inaczej. Tak. Chyba się uda. Tutaj gówno. Wydrukowało na szaro wszystko. Tak. w drugie drzwi. Kliknij tam, włącz drukarkę. Jak gdyby było oczekiwanie, kopiuj i zarejdę. Próbujemy. Próbujemy. Uh, I, I didn't set up my printer before. I co, jest format dobry? Format jest dobry? Dobra. A... Teraz... Um... Zmienię Dark Team na taki zwykły. Taki zwykły. Próba numer dwa. Right. Per chat suggestion I'm changing uh, to light scene just on the second monitor because it printed shit. It's not that camera is bad and you don't see it. We see the same. Bo tutaj bym się nie widzisz, patrz, no sobie wyrokowali. No i zobacz. Mamy ugadzić. Widzisz, nawet podkreśla. Git? No dobra, dobra, ale na razie będę tutaj. Ale... A, dobrze, teraz wrócę. Dobra, tylko następnym razem pszczelkę mniej szedł. Chodzisz na kompę, czy nie? Niestety tam, no. Ma Hooray, geometry time. Is Radeusz on weed? Why? His hair. <laughs> Because of your hair. Ah, no. I quite, uh, never mind. Yeah. Just immediately when he grabs wheat, his hair, his hair turns like that. Okay. 
Okay, open E, uh, Tinder. Uh, no, uh, L of course. Up, up, up. And delete minus one. Submit. G got accepted once. I've read the G and it seemed difficult. Okay. And it what? It seemed difficult. Okay. Uh, let's try. Okay, you can check for this. They seem. Uh, okay. Partly right over the partition, that's the sun too. So much, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, you want to uh, know how many one goes to each group and so on? Maybe. Mm -hmm. It can be at most 14 different I, numbers and it, it could be 3 to the power of 14. I, I thought that maybe the sizes of groups are important. If we know sizes of groups A, B, and C, then we know the multipliers for each number. Again, yeah, but makes sense. Didn't help. I think it might be like n third and uh, maybe n to sixth power. Mm -hmm.
you just be 3 to the power of 14 in Python. 14. Okay, thanks.
problem to go to solve. Which problem are you solving? Ah, uh, G. Okay. I hope that it will be fast enough. Okay. Uh, clicking that there's a quad car. Thank you. And then B get accepted. Is my router caption not working?
Знаешь? Не, не лучше. А и так бы мне в принципе, смогу писать. Нет, не далеко не доставим, конечно.
try this Did they print it yeah uh, is it g c yeah, g g I will decrease the font. The font, font size. Printing. Um, time limit exceeded fifteen seconds. In code no, no, no. Could you count the numbers in the second line if they if, if the test is correct? Yeah. It should be sixteen of them. It's sixteen. Uh, okay. B, four Is steps back. Geometry? No, no. Uh, geometry I will do later. B is easier. Oh, okay. A little bit quick.
Uh, it's su surprising how much faster it is. Uh, but out. is it correct? Uh, uh, it, it should be correct. Maybe I broke something squeezing the code. Uh, <laughs> uh, let me try this. Give me uh, Taiwan tests. Can I? You're in. Uh, yeah. Okay. Dobrze się przed chwilą wydrukowało? Czy jakieś uwagi? Ej, zaczynam. Printing.
meeting. Can solve a factor, probably even polynomial time, but it, it's, it wouldn't be so nice of the outside to just let me try something like squeeze it at the time. Uh, um, I lost my problem statement. Excuse me? I lost my problem statement. Did you see it? See? I've seen it some time ago, but yeah.
Ben de sevmeyecek de beğenmeyecek. Rank Phoenix. Doing it. Uh -huh. I don't know actually. I think that in the end it should be possible to squeeze it, but um, maybe I'm just doing something. Is it easy to generate the max test? Uh, I thought that I run my pro program on the max test and it's like uh, it should and it should be passing, but. Uh, it, it looks like it's it's eating. like they have much again test four or, or not? Excuse me. Which test time limit? Yeah, again four. Mm. I think it doesn't make sense for me now to finish geometry quickly because then I cannot do the last problem, right? Because game theory. Uh, so maybe I should help No, you. it's actually no? easy. It's like we'll use Bergkamp Masse here and some oh. like things okay. like that. But uh, you can finish here, but let's uh, okay. be just. Uh, try to do something here.
Do you think that period here might be small? Yeah, I think so. Maybe it's product of AIs. No. No. Or even if the period is larger, then we can somehow detect it, like maybe with some KMP algorithm or something like that. Maybe not. Ooh. You want to go? Not too much. I can. Oh, actually, I'm. Uh... I can submit it using that. 64 bit, uh, bit compiler counting that it'd be better because okay there's an option but uh, I can rewrite it and think out a polynomial solution because of what you said uh, maybe there's some like we can maybe at the beginning iterate over the sizes and then do some dp using the, this knowledge uh, like the, the uh, and separate DBs, but I think that it's very close. Like, they want to try to find the max as to where I'm the slowest. But should I know your solution? Uh, okay, you can look here. Okay, like I'm iterating over the number. Like, uh, for example, here I'd iterate over a five stands, fifteen, and so on. And I'm iterating how many of them goes to first group, how many to the second, and how many to the so third. So there should be like a lot of ones, a bit fewer of twos, and I so on. I don't know, I tried this test, so it's like okay. three to the Yeah, five. I can try some more. Okay. I think that it'd be useful anyway. Compile it all oh, yeah. Right. The second number doesn't matter. Yeah, you can add it if one. Or you can use one handed. I'm printing the sum. And I'm Global variable sum. I don't know it's okay. Really... It would be then for me SS. Okay. Between CLA and, and the first non-sample non, non test, yeah. 
Maybe just, you know, it's ICPC not good versus maybe they put okay. a big test quicker. Yeah, we can use actually we can actually use uh Cassandra Gage here. Uh, no, that doesn't matter that much I guess. It's very fast for now. Almost a second. Uh could you run this test on Cassandra location please on my 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 codes? Mm -hmm. uh, Uh, wait a sec. And the current sum is 91, so it isn't a max. Oh, oh, great. Oh, could you now change the compiler to the yeah. uh, this one? No, 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 no. no. The, 54 bits. Oh, this one. Okay. Three times faster, almost. So I think that now it's around the max test. Uh, two more tools. Uh, 97, so let's say one more, one and two. And that's 27. Also, no, this will be a lot in good versus. Okay, could you run it? In casting location sure. with old compiler and with better compiler. Sure. And we'll check the this is the difference. Indeed. And sum is hundred. Right. So uh, this is better one. Okay. So I guess you do it and then try the old one. one. Oh, yeah. It's too too much. Okay. Um, try the old one just to compare. Also, we will understand better the difference. Yeah. So I removed a bunch of 13, 12, and I... Yeah, I okay, and I need to say, I guess. Yeah, the old one is, like, many times worse. If there are only a few possible tests... Yeah, the old, old, old one is three times slower. Okay. Uh, so probably I'll try to make it pass this test and submit it, of course, with the better compiler. Uh, Um, like how to do that then in that situation.
No. Uh, no. Lucy. Okay. Um. I did something. Is it still? Oh. oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Maybe they don't have the <laughs> exact same thing. I get that these operations and like and the fractions are the, the slow maybe like it uh, you could uh, squeeze them up, squeeze them somehow maybe 
uh, it'd be a bit better. Uh, like without this, without the functions like doing it, like yeah. here. Uh, oh. Ah. Uh, uh. Good enough. You need long guns. Ints are not enough. Uh, but what? Are would ints be enough, or do you need long gun? They would be enough to store fractions, but probably wouldn't be enough to like, multiply them okay. or, or like subtract one from the other. Okay, it's it's the better compiler. You copy pasted the code? Yeah. Okay. Uh, we have CR, but I don't think that it's. No, that's not an issue. Uh, I think okay. Let's check. Um. If you get five and... minutes exceeded again, then oh great. Oh nice. And I it got accepted, so. Uh... Do you want to implement I? Yeah, sure. Like I mean, should we just try it? No, I mean that probably. I think that we have to generate the answers for some. Uh... I mean, because. If that's true, then we should implement it first. C will take me 15 minutes and I might get from Oh, Anyway, I want to think about it for a moment. Okay. Then I'm doing C. I'm closing everything but C. Okay, true. And G accepted. Oh, also, there's a way that uh, it should be written but with some matrix multiplication, like there's some state, but. Because of that, I think that the yeah. Berlin cap, Berlin if, if there is matrix exp uh, experimentation solution, then Massey will work. Like, by Massey, I mean just so treating it like the numbers model too. Okay. Also, Massey so right so can be implemented in n squared divided by 32. Uh -huh. Because we agree that it has to be periodic, yeah? Yes, but I don't know with what period. Like, even if the period would be big, then it's possible to detect it sample, like with KMP. Mm. So there are two possible things. One is that Maybe there's period of zeros and ones, like of size, let's say million, then sure, okay, we can try some string yeah. algorithms. Or maybe it's more complicated and there is a like period of size even 1000, but of linear recursion, but maybe giving us a very complicated sequence without period. Yeah, like, but if that this linear recursion is far, then it would be. Then Massey works. Yeah. But there's a possibility that. And there I, is... I, I think about matrix multiplication okay. experimentation solution and I I think that both are true. 
that there's there can be long period period and uh, disturb cleaner. Yes, but I should take the computer when I be ready. Yeah? Yes. Could you like prepare the method? Sure. Who will implement it? Uh, you, you will? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to write some few simple functions like okay, multiply. Sure. Yeah. Or actually, I can write, write them because maybe you want to think about. Things. No. Okay. Great. So it's, like... it's modular too, right? Yeah. It doesn't have to be fast, right? Yeah, probably that. Uh, like sort instead of classes and smile. <laughs> I don't want to be think. Fast. What is power a to b power modulo should they just return a yes if b is zero <laughs> return one else return a is that yes <laughs> actually I, I think i use it only for my inverse which is <laughs> no here just return a <laughs> So this works only for one you can run it zero doesn't have any worse <laughs> so return a uh, okay can should i say as assert <laughs> okay uh, yeah probably it's okay to have this assertion uh, i have it actually but yeah I but it. i moved it down Oh, okay. Uh -huh. All right, doing it. Maybe you can take the PC. Uh, should I test it? Okay, I will not <laughs> okay, test it here. Um, okay, I, I will actually test it uh, for something binary, just to see okay. if it makes any sense. Uh, I will put parities of Fibonacci sequence. Nice. Okay, if it found proper linear records, so it works. Okay. 
Thank you. It will take like at most five minutes, right? Yeah, probably. I it just is DP. Mm. I have nothing to do, so I can look at your comments. Are you sure that you don't want to think about some? Yeah. Okay. I'm mean, implementing complex full similar stuff. Okay. Uh, so there's DP. It be a binary DP. Um, okay, that's the dimension is how much, like the difference between the current, the running total and the goal. Uh, okay, and J is the last year, so. Remaining value. Yeah, yeah. Grab something like this. You can, uh, you can read it. So it's, uh... Okay. Max with zero. Oh, of course. If you read from from five. Do you want to initialize DP of zero anything as as one? Uh, the zero is initialized to zero because they are using so, and I'm going from from one. Okay, but they they said that. Oh, okay. I, I misunderstood the statement. <laughs> I, I thought that they win in that case. Okay. Uh, no, if. Yeah, I agree. I agree. It's good. Uh. Uh, Are there matters? Uh, yes, it does. You know, you can copy paste this from the statement. <laughs> mm. Okay. Hundred here. No, but I would want to just look look at it for a moment. Yeah, I, I, I wanted to look at two hundred values. Okay. That's suspicious. Um. Okay, and next is big enough. Oh, actually, maybe it's possible, but it's strange. Uh, 
Wait, what? So like, like uh, again? Let me let check it. Change it here. Uh, no, okay, it's. Oh yeah, that's why it can make sense. Like if you are and at some sides uh, of the dice okay. you are winning and at the different and the other you are you are losing. I can't believe in that. Okay, like, but. Uh, so either this is like, we will not test Massey much on this. Okay, I will. We can look at the second sum. Okay, okay, this is something. Uh, yeah, there's a pattern of two ones, zero, one, zero, and the. Pattern. We have Massey will use it now. Uh, oh, that's. Uh... That's unusual, <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> possible, I guess. Uh. Uh, I think that it can, like, uh, the pattern should be of length like 10 times 6 because, like, this is the dimension of the matrix. I won't be surprised if it's like LCM of values AI. But in the matrix, you are only interested in the. Oh, yeah, maybe. Um, I think that it is small enough. Uh... Okay, is uh, is it okay here? Let's take. Uh... What's er? So the the table with problems it denotes who have read the problem. E stands for Erikto and R for Radeus. Er just means that we both read it. Also, it gets along long. Yeah. It's here, Masse. <laughs> uh, no, if let's let's think about it because maybe it'd be bad to just swap the answers. Uh, okay, if it's losing. It means that the first player to move up. Okay, I think that it should be the opposite. Maybe both other other anyway. Okay, it works. It's thirty. Yeah, like it's about thirty. Okay, uh, um, before submitting, I would increase Nux. Like uh, next, uh, isn't LCM of numbers one through ten like two two thousand five hundred? You remember this number two no. five two zero? Uh, I remember this for some reason. I think it's LCM of stuff eight seven nine product eight times seven. Ah, okay. I thought that you wanted like uh seven five. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yes. No, okay. So this is number I remembered. Okay. So okay. I suggest six thousand. Sure, of course. Yeah, twice that six thousand. As long as it will run in time. Okay. But it's the, the but it's like only the second. Is that processing in uh, square or the square times log? Uh, times logarithm from power. No, I think that wait, like only the processing. Uh, mm. It uses the inverse, so. But I, each time. And uh, it uses it, I think, and, and times and times, so okay, it doesn't so it, okay. and square plus and okay, but so... lock would anyway we be lock of two because we have binary. <laughs> oh, <yeah>. <laughs> uh, mm. Okay, uh, so I, I think it's just n square, always exactly that. Oh. Just to test it, can you for a moment change Nux to like. 10,000 and see that it becomes a little bit slow, that it indeed runs always that much. Um. Oh, no, it won't, it is not n square, it is n times the linear recurrence size. So mm. it will be blazing fast here. I'm not sure. I think that it can be n square. I remember that once we were talking about if we should have 
uh, it's in complexity n square, but with shorter codes or n times the length. Okay, so there are some zeros at the okay, beginning. Okay, let's leave it with six. Six thousand sounds good. Yeah. Uh, like. Let's uh, uh, submit. This is fine. Yeah, it's true. And do you have statement to be like I would probably like the to geometry. Oh, yeah. So start implementing. I read it, and if it won't pass, then probably I want to do. We need to just work and see because it'd be like a first test. Oh, there are two samples coming. Thirty. Oh, well, that that's much better. Geomet geometry coming, geometry. Are we winning? Yeah, nobody saw to see, so I guess. But by two, but with a single person, no red team participated. Okay. Whoa, man, it's hard. Uh. How can I help you? I will tell you the solution and you tell me if it's <laughs> if it's correct. If maybe it's heavy. Right idea. No, przez chwilę po polsku. No, to tak. Twierdzę, że tylko na brzegu opłaca się z brzegu patrzeć. Że z brzegu pokoju. Tak. Nice. Cztery razy wrócę wszystko i więc zawsze patrzę na na lewą ściankę. Patrzę, co się dzieje z rogu i tam jest to jakieś... Otóż nie, zawsze skrajne rzeczy się opłacają. W sensie, w którymś rogu się opłaca? Nie, nie. E, jak chodzę sobie tym punktem, to zmieniają się te punkty styczności, co nie? Okay. No i ja po prostu chcę dwa wskaźnikami sprawdzić każde dwa. Twierdzę, że jak patrzę na dwa konkretne i tu jest jakiś przedzialik dostępnych rzeczy, to właśnie nie ten na research, tylko ta druga w końcu już jest i na którymś z jest. Hmm. Czyli twierdzę, że za optymalny y, po Y to jest albo tu, albo ten maks maksymalny H, 
albo współliniowy z którymś odcinkiem. Z takim lub takim. Czekaj, to mówisz, że współliniowy jest ter- najlepszy truk, albo jest współliniowy z którymś odcinkiem. Mm. I takim jakby widocznie. Tak, tak, tak. 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 To, jeśli stwierdzisz, że jest inaczej, no to muszę ten narysar zacząć. Ale takiego kawałkowego, nie po całości. Mm. No, no, I did it. Um, and it's what there is. It's very stupid. This is a sample list. So just four oh, points okay. are in the context. Yeah. I didn't draw the second one. You you can draw it so we would know the shape. The triangle. They can can they be collinear? I didn't think about the generate cases. I think that they can be. Okay. But I can read it. Please do. Uh... They are fair right distinct, but I think that they can be collinear. Uh, great. And we can it be equal to one. Okay. I think that if they are all collinear, then just like bring zero or something. It'd be oh. good. You're right. And it is. I agree. And same if n is one. So I will say if convex hole is at most two, bring zero. Uh, it depends on how you calculate the convex hole, but uh, if you if you skip the it's linear, it's then, yeah, then I skip. It's at most two. Yeah. But I will check it with some test. Mm. Że poprawi mnie. Ale może najwyżej się zapisze tyle. Uh, when you have some like bigger parts of code, which which we really, uh, then I mean then then you can print them so I can like read the because I think that you copy copy paste the geometry but you have some like, I didn't. You didn't? Mm. Okay, so print the get hell or something and I okay. I think that is the good thing that I can do. Yes, good idea. I'm printing convex hole and struct P. Uh, do you plan to use any double? Only for Y intersection. I, I, I compute the Y intersection because it's non integer. Like with the, uh, with the uh, like, axis. Okay. With axis. And then but I compare it with H. You mean like. This intersection? Yes. Okay. And what? And I compare it with H. No, patrzę, czy jest poniżej końca. What H? Ta wysokość jest prosto kąta. Obszaru. Okay. Będzie dozwolony obszar. Ile do tego jest? Znacznie.
the not the points are strictly inside the rectangle. They can't be underground. There. Yes, that's useful actually because otherwise yeah. my code breaks at some moment. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, not yet. <laughs> I, I get some zeros. Also, I still need to make ifs for the size up to two. Other than that, I finished, but I'm for sure I'm not sure about the two pointers part. But you can yeah, first focus on the hardest. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure that it um kind of Accepted and sample tests. I miss. Do you calculate how much fell like with the two iterations and for the bottom and whoa? I always do that. Whoa. I always do it once, like my angle? Second one. Yeah. Okay, so I search by X. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Submit or do you want to read the two pointer? Uh, I don't know. I 
<laughs> I didn't put the contact value in, but I think that I uh, did it check that uh, small ends and collinear. Yes, yes, I did. And I tested now the, the small, the collinearity case. Uh, I can tell you how I do two pointers. So you can tell me. <laughs> I can. But this, the sample tests are shit. They are very, very bad. Yeah. What if you want to pass? Do we want to test it or do we want to try this in our search? No, no. Then I want to for sure talk with you about two pointers. I will uh, tell you what's my logic for you know moving pointers around. Because in sample test, I don't think anything is moved. It's, it's, it's like uh, I don't even move those pointers. Like they, they, it's just their initial values. Test sample. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Easy. Great. Actually, How did you like it? Beautiful problem. Uh, two, two minutes past the half time. Uh. Do you think it's a single guy or a team? It can be a single guy. Uh, if he has to submit okay, it close to each other. It took him 15 minutes to also the B, I don't know. Do so you want to like go through the problems? Yeah, them? like some quick explanation. Uh, do, you want to, uh, do you want to use something to draw? Yes. I, mainly I can draw, I guess. Like, yeah, even yeah, if sure. you tell me the problem, I can do it. So, chat, now Now I see you, the chat I'm reading, and we will go through the problems, which is what we always do after trainings. When we used to train for ICPC, we would do a contest, and then after that, just talk about solutions. That's the very beneficial part, because other team members can learn useful tricks too. We might skip simple problems though <laughs> which is almost the whole the whole contest to them. Mm. I think that it's a fine reminder here it is I made a video on it but the yeah. li linear version, I described how to you know, <laughs> increase by one module. Great. Well, normally it's increased but, by one module too. But, but so, so it's like all of smaller of the primes. So it yeah, works. Yeah, yeah. It, it works it, it, for, it, it, it's useful. I mean, that yeah. sometimes I, it, it's I kind of all of squared of a number if it's com yeah. composite. Like, sometimes I prefer to write it this way. Like yeah. it's more comfortable. Uh, all right. Order from A? Or not? Yeah, why not? I will open the problem set. All right, A, seven dwarfs. Okay, this was hard because I misread it. I thought that it makes a, a geometric progression. <laughs> but it like. But it's arithmetic? Yeah. Okay. Like we're given six numbers. Uh, and we have to find the seven, uh, so that the seven can be arranged in the arithmetic progression. Okay, so, so, so I'm... Do you try every slot? Uh, yes, I'm I'm sorting them. I'm taking second minus first and third minus second, and one of the, these numbers have to be the, okay. uh, the difference. And I'm trying 12 ways to generate a, a number and start checking them. That's not, not that complicated. Okay. And we print that missing number? Uh, we print every possible missing number. Okay. And okay. we are guaranteed, guaranteed that there always exists uh, at least one. All right. I know first, one. Four steps back. So this one was like second hardest. <laughs> yeah, or third hardest. Uh, you're given, in very short, you're given P to fourth, 
where p is permutation of numbers from 0 to n minus 1, you're given this and you are asked how many possible p there are. Okay. Uh, modulo billion 7. Uh, like if 1 to 0, 3, uh, maybe here, 0, 1, 2, if this is the input, just, you know, identity, then maybe there were like cycles of size 2, yeah, yeah. but they got compressed. Uh, and n is up to 100,000. So this count values, permutations p. All right. Uh, if something initially was a per <laughs> was a cycle of size 5. And how big is n? And 100,000. Okay. If something is permutation of size 5, it will stay as 5. Like, first we'll jump to fifth and so on. Like, nothing will change. Uh, if p has permutation it has cycle of size 5 yeah the, the yeah, one yeah, we of, get is also of, 5 of course. if it's 10 then we will get two fives yeah uh, even and odd if something like something divisible by 4 then four, fi four fives and well it's not that we split further so here four tens so it just matters if it's odd even or divisible by 4 yeah. Right? Uh, and then, so actually we get this in the input, and we, I need to figure out a way to compute that. Uh, all right. If something is odd, some cycle says it's odd, then... Mm, all right. If it's even. So if in the input I see even, then it must be one of four tens, because the only way we got even here on the right is this case. So it must be like that. Uh, so even numbers I first group into groups of four times this. And if it's not divisible by four, the number of tens, then zero ways. Yeah. Uh, all right. And otherwise, I have, let's focus on, let's say, five. There's, there's some number of ways to combine like four tens into four. Okay. Tens. Yeah. Good. good. Uh, let's think what's the number of ways for that. Let's say that it's actually x, 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 for x equal to 10, yeah. you can solve it. Then I do it this way. Uh, so we are given like four cycles of size x, and we need to count ways to combine them. Then I, I imagine that I take first element of the first cycle, let's call it like the a. the smallest element, for example. Yes. And I think what can be after that, like, I need to fill those three spots. And then there's, let's say that was a one in this sequence, and then there's a p. If I choose question marks, then everything else is defined. Yeah. Okay, so for this, the number of ways is three times x. Because for, I can get yeah. any of those numbers. For this twice x, three times x. No, sorry, one x. Yeah. Uh, so that's the number of ways. Uh, and I use it in general to do dp. So if I know that I have, let's say, n times number x, then I start with dp of 0 equal to 1. I need to multiply the answer by dp of n, where this is number of ways to get rid of n x's, uh -huh. where this is sum of dp of n minus 1 plus n minus 2 n minus dp of n minus 4 with proper multipliers. Yeah. We talked about multiplier for that. For those, it's just easier. And, and you have to choose like the, the cycles. I, I need... Like if you have many x's, you have to group them into groups of four, for example. So yeah, and for, for that, I, that is involved in multipliers. Uh, so dp of n minus 4 has this multiplier. Uh, let's remember that we have n x's. So instead of this 3 times x, we will have n minus 1 times x. Yeah. So this this is n minus 1 times x uh, times n minus 2x times n minus 3x. This is multiplier next to that. Plus also those two are allowed only if x is odd. Yeah. And done. Uh, yeah. It wasn't very hard. I think that the geometry is much more. All right. Geometry. Uh, I, I will tell you about the well I will shortly say the statement but then the two point we'll talk about two pointers. Uh, given a rectangle and inside a bunch of points, we need to choose some point so that the angle 
where, how we can kill all the other points is minimal. Like here, and it had to be less than uh, 108. Yeah. But it's always possible because from here yeah. we can kill with 108. So I have some lemmas. Uh, <clears throat> like obvious one is that only convex hull matters. Points inside inside are easier to kill. Then instead of shooting from here, it's better to move further away. So I only shoot from the side. I rotate the drawing four times. So every time I can focus on a single side. And now let's find the best way to shoot from the left. Either way, I will shoot it from here, where I need to find angles of those two points. Or I can slowly move this point up and it will correspondingly move those two lines. And ev eventually something will happen. Eventually, when I cross this thing, when now I'm here, which is new color, then this is the tangent point. So, uh, and I got from some concave function or convex function that we should always consider this exact moment to be the answer. Like here in between, it's only worse. I convinced myself for that by saying, okay, if there are those two points and uh, let's say only them, then from here I have some maximal angle. And as I move this point far away, the angle gets to zero. This angle is better than when I put here. Yeah, it makes sense. Okay. So yeah, I, I need to, I will use two pointers to track this I and J. And now this was about some doing some annoying logic where it's easy to miss something, I guess. If I have two particular i and j, I, I start by, for this point, linearly going through everything to find maximum and minimum by angle. Yeah. Uh, that's initial i and j. And then always I check i versus i plus one, where is its intersection, I will call it yi. Uh, j with the next j, j plus 1, uh, this will give me some, let's say here, y of j. And here i is uh, lower, so I consider looking from here at i and j, I compute angles and consider that to be the answer, and then I do i plus plus. i stop when both y's exceed height of the rectangle. And what do you do in uh, the case when, like, do you see that j plus one? What if you, if you, if j plus one was the tangent point and now it would like rotate? You know. So what if it goes down? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Like, how so, do you detect that? So, uh, I thought about it like that. If this is j and this is j plus one, this is possibly still fine if I have very tall rectangle, like here crosses here that's fine yeah, 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 of course. so maybe from here i will look at j plus one so i allow i check this as long as the next j is has bigger x once oh okay yeah like that, uh, that's the that, condition that, that makes, makes sense and if x next x is here or smaller then this uh y j i set to infinity oh. or just h plus one would be fine it would yeah, be yeah it make, makes sense and same logic for i. I only want the next point to be smaller x. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that was c. Mm, yeah. So it's all <laughs> of n after I first compute convex hull. Uh, d was easy. It was like first problem. I, can, e. I can tell the construction. Uh, okay. We have to construct the two strings uh, as and t. Uh, we're given n and we have to construct two strings. Uh, both of them have to consist of n letters a and n letters b. Uh, and you have to construct them in such a way that the quarter subsequence of the first one, which isn't the subsequence of the second one, have to be as long as possible. What does it mean? Uh, this means that we want to arise from the first string as many characters as possible uh, so, uh, so that it still isn't a subsequence of the second string. 
Okay. Okay. So like here in A, B, C, D, what can we remove? Uh, we can remove A and C. So B, D can stay because it isn't a subsequence. Yeah. Right? B, D. Okay. And, but alphabet is binary. Yeah, yeah. And you, it had to have exactly N8 and NB, both strings. But like, uh, okay. I've tried A, B, A, B, A, B, and the second one B, A, B, A, B, A, B, A, B, but, it, but it doesn't make sense. It's like N plus one. Uh, yeah. And it turns out that uh, we're able to aim at 2N. We can make the strings that if you erase N, uh, any of them, then it will be a subsequent of the second string. Mm. Like we can achieve the perfect results. Like they, they, they tell us to maximize some number, and it's obvious that it'll be. Yeah, I, I understand, but I don't see it. Like I'm thinking about A's then B's, but. Yeah, okay. and for okay. example, for n equal to four, you can you can write A's and then B's. Uh, a equal to four, so it's like. And why is that? Yeah. Okay. Uh... And in the second one, just swap to middle character. Oh. And if you did any A, then it worked, and if you did any B, it worked. So, uh, the shortest okay. string, which isn't the subsequence of the second one, is is the whole. All first string. So it's, it's, I have to spend a few minutes thinking on that, but. Uh, yeah, by the way, I've read this problem first before you, but I didn't know a solution in one minute. I was made a minute, so don't worry, I was thinking about. Yeah. Cool. I think that it's like a rather easy problem, but uh, probably there are some people that for them it's insta problem. Um, but not for everybody. Like for us, it wasn't uh, mm -hmm. trivial. What was the fastest time? Let's see. Let's check. And we got it at thirty. Uh, there's eleven, and it is their first problem. Make makes sense to solve this in ten minutes. Yeah, yeah, of course. Right. <clears throat> uh, F. Okay, that's more interesting. Uh, yes, but without <laughs> geometry, you're given two rectangles, like are there are there like parallel? Uh, yeah, ac axis aligned, like this possibly. Find the biggest rectangle present in their union. So their union is this, and inside this area, you need to find rectangle with biggest area. Oh, uh, and so possibilities are. One, uh, two, uh, three, and four is the same. Uh, and that, that those are all the possibilities. Okay. So uh, I twice consider like swapping them. I also flip drawing X no. with twice. <laughs> and then I just say that I consider this. But do you have to print the, the, the area or just the area? area. Okay. Uh, but then I would also keep uh, flipping the answer in the same <laughs> right. way, so it would work. Okay. Uh, so my condition was that this <coughs> left x of first rectangle uh, must be smaller equal than left x of second, and this, that. I created a function that gets four values and checks if they are sorted, possibly yeah, with nice. types. Nice. I pass those x's, and if that's the case, then I consider this min x at up to max x, and here uh, yeah, smaller of y of down of bottom wise and bigger of upper wise. Uh, not the opposite, like the smaller of the. Oh yeah, yeah, uh, the, you're right. Sorry, the, this and now this possibly is zero. Yeah, but if it they are this doesn't digit. matter. Oh, good. Yeah. Or even if this gets negative, still fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We got a smiley face. Yeah, I also said it. With um, mono brow. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I don't know how to solve this. Um, okay, so uh, the statement was we are given not so many numbers and they are not so big. Uh, 
and we got to divide them into three and we are given some integer k uh, and the statement goes like we would like to take an average of these numbers uh, and show that k is not so far away from this average uh, but uh, it can be further so the statement says divide these numbers into three non-empty non groups uh, so that if we eat in each of the groups take the average and then take the average of these three averages uh, then this is as close as possible to k okay, for example camille, camille divided this this would be good for k equal to 50 over 3 because we got a fraction and we need to right do we get a fraction? No, k, k, is... k is integer. Oh, but okay. it like, doesn't matter. Okay. So, so maybe there is some uh, some polynomial solution, so a bit better. But uh, the statement says that they are at most uh, 33 numbers and that their sum is limited by 100. Then I thought about an exp uh, exponential solution uh, and I thought about uh, first about such a case that uh, we are given numbers from 1 to 30 or to 13 so, or 40, 14. So if input is exactly this. Yeah, I thought about it like about one of the maxes. Mm -hmm. maxes. Uh, and in this case, there are only like 3 to the power of 14 possibilities to divide them into groups. That's fine. Uh, so I thought that generally there are not so many possibilities to divide them into groups. So, but uh, like this was a max test, a few ones, yeah. a few twos, and like two threes, mm. okay. and that then it's a bit bigger. Okay. Uh, so for each number, I'm calculating how many times does it appear in the input. Uh, and uh, I have a recursive function and this function iterates over uh, over these numbers and for okay, each so number you still have this in like you have in complexity the number of subsets of this yeah so isn't it much bigger than this no like billion or... no okay like not that subset but even divide even the number of ways to divide them into three groups not two groups Like if they are if they are thirty three ones in the input, then I have complexity like thirty two cubic. Yeah, I agree. Like right? square because I can like oh yeah square square uh, okay. something like this. Uh yeah, but but I have to squeeze it a bit. Yeah, so. But this is a few million, and isn't this test like thousand times worse than just one through fourteen? I don't think so. That is like thousand times worse. Okay. We can also um, care about the fact that, for example, the first group has to be somehow the first, like it has to, for example, have I smaller see. sum than the second and mm -hmm. so on. Okay. So like the, among ones, you can say that the number of them divided by two, by, by three is the most you can take something like that? Actually, I, I, uh, I did it at the end because I thought that just the recurrence wouldn't be so slow and the, this checking, this calculating this fraction would be slower. So after the whole recurrence, I'm checking if the first group has the smallest sum and then the second group has the middle sum. Do you do it linearly at the end? The computer No, the during the recurrence, I'm... So like like you... after the recurrence, I have six numbers, the three sums in each group and three sizes of each group. Okay, okay. And then you... In, that those three numbers will give you some fractions. Yeah, I, that, at, the end, okay. at the end of the recurrence, I'm doing it in, in constant time. But, uh, are, are we forced to swap between who codes? No, but it's optimal. You know, like if we are given 12 problems, then each of us should solve around six. <clears> and while one person codes, the other can think about the next problem. But it's, it's theoretically possible, and some people do that. For example, that one person will keep coding and other people in the team will just tell him what to do, what to code. But I don't think it's optimal. Best teams don't do it. Okay, so like 
we don't care what's exactly what exactly is happening in this problem. We just try all possibilities. Do you think that's the intended solution? Uh, you like in my recurrence when I'm moving from uh, one number to the, to the other, like from considering ones to considering twos. The only thing that I'm passing, like I do not exactly care about the uh, about the uh, exact partition, but I care about the six numbers, about the so you, sums and the sizes of the group. You return if you have the same possibility for something? No, but maybe this is the way to make it polynomial. Okay. But it would be a bit slow, I and think. And to sixth power? Like right? five, I think like and the... More than that. Uh, this is G? <clears throat> yeah. Of uh, PDF. Um, what was B? Oh, the cycles, so that's boring. Do we want to ch check something? Oh, he has this DP. What? Yeah, it's like, it's the DP what I mentioned. Okay. I thought that it's sixth power. No, like. Uh, oh, if you know how big prefix, then you know the sum of. Yeah, uh, something like that. Okay, that was easy. No, but uh, no. no. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I agree. Like for maybe making it with the recurrence would be more comfortable, but just with mem memorizing the okay. uh, the visited state. I, I thought that it is like n to 6 power multiplied by 100 or something like that, the dp like this. And what's up to 33, not to, up to the 100. But still, 30 up to 6 power is already a lot. Okay. I, I thought that it's bad. I, I didn't compute exactly, also I thought that here it's <coughs> cubic, not square. Okay, okay, I see. Um, that was g, h, right. In H, we are given a dic real dictionary of English words, 150,000 words, of lengths up to nine. And then there are queries, 5,000 queries. And what do we that, do? That's dictionary fixed, yeah? It's... Yes, it is. Uh, I don't use it. Okay. I just, I don't, it's not that I do pre-computation. Oh, um, well, it, it's given before it, queries. It? Yes, I read it. What, it what? It, it's given before queries, so yeah, it's okay, constant okay. for all the queries. Then 5,000 queries for each of them, string of length exactly nine, and it means you're pre playing Scrabble, and you have exactly those characters, pieces. And you can use some subset of them. You want to get longest possible word, if there are ties, lexicographically smallest. And so Q is small, so we can do Q times two to ninth power. So I iterate over subsets of this, and for each of them I want to check, for example, I have MOC. I want to check okay. if there is a word like that. So I sort it, like we check anagrams. And you also, map, yeah. yeah, I sorted all of those. I use map. I could do hashes to make it yeah. a little bit faster. There's a map. And that's, so here, this gives me for every map from sorted string to what's the best string made out of that. So yeah. if there are many, then the lexicographically smallest. Complexity is Q times uh, 2 to 9 times accessing this map, logarithm maybe plus string length, so log plus 9. That's fine. <laughs> oh, do we want to check what's, what uh, size do we need? We can submit a few times. I don't know. Prob I think that it will have around 60. Convince me that it's around 60. I have no idea why. I think that the matrix would have to be like 60 by but, 60. You can submit 200. Then... But what in matrix do you claim that only like remain? You can copy it like at the, oh, yeah. at the, the top. Remainder modulo something is important. What? what? How do we create a matrix? What does it mean, the matrix? It didn't have any. The code is the same as during the contest. Oh, accepted. Yay. 
Uh, so just change next to two hundred. Yeah, should be two hundred five. Should be, should be alright. So chat, huh? our complexity is something square, and we didn't know what something is. We yeah. guess during a try one hundred fifty. During a contest, we tried six thousand because six thousand square is fast enough. Uh, hundred fifty. Yeah. Nine. I could try one hundred. Oh. It's bigger than 60. Yes. <laughs> I'm trying 181. <laughs> it's definitely... How many? 181 is fine. 180 fine. 150 not fine. <laughs> I, I will submit like twice more. <laughs> roughly know what it is. You should check if it doesn't give us any more... Like, it's, I, I hope not. See, it's it's called person. Okay. Seven five five seven five five. No, it doesn't even. It isn't even displayed. Hundred sixty five is okay. But let's say one last submit. One five seven. Maybe it's not a max test. By the way, we will check in the editorial. But if they have a DP slash matrix solution, then fine. 157 not good, so we need like 160. So probably it's like it 80 be. maybe in this length. Maybe, but why? <laughs> yeah, we'll I never know. Maybe editorial says something about oh. it. Did I cross it? What did they do? Uh, yeah, they sort it just like I do. Uh, periodic. Uh, it's periodic. I mean, I told you that it's periodic. It is periodic. <laughs> what was there for Fibonacci? I think is periodic modulo p with cycle up to six times p, right? Can you remember what? something like that? Fibonacci is periodic modulo p. It's like like o with period up to o of p. O of p yeah. yeah. So that's, that's some crazy stuff. It's obvious why it's p square, right? In there. What was what? For Fibonacci modulo p, it's obvious that it should. But the linear recurrence p square. It's like two. So in using Berlang Bergkamp mass, we care only about the linear yeah, recurrence. I'm saying about literal period of values modulo p in Fibonacci. Okay. Yeah, oh no, yeah, it's like our. Oh, but it's not obvious. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Obvious it's it's definitely obvious. So maybe again, it's something. Um, okay. Uh, try all possible moves. D is periodic. To see why this is true. Oh, two to I told ten. You. you didn't tell me. I told you that the matrix is like ten times six. It's not 10 times 6, it's 2 to 10. It depends on previous 10 values at most. 2 to maximum side. Times 6. But, oh, 6, it, it, it isn't normal multiplication. It's like that. It we depends are doing on the so, Oh, yeah. But I mean, oh. So it's 6, 000, sorry, 6 times 1024. Right, which side you are on, and what's the bit mask of last ten bits in DP? Okay, I thought that it's the normal multiplication, like with, but in modulo two it would need four, but it isn't. So it's like bitwise end. Yes. So it isn't normal. But okay, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so six thousand was a bit too low. 7,000 would work in general, times two. 200 was okay. Yeah, but I'm saying for the proof. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is 6,024, and we need this times two, so our NAX should be greater than that. Yeah, yeah. But 200 worked. Like probably plus two, because we are... Why didn't we see it? This is easy to see. I mean... What? 
I, 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 I claim that this is easy to see. We should have seen this during a contest. I, you, you said 60, but that was bullshit. Uh, okay, did, did they say something? I did oh, not, uh, it's never possible to achieve this oh, greatest. Okay, that, that's still bullshit. L look at this. That's for every phase, we need last 10 bits. Okay. Uh. Uh, but they did notice some period. Okay. For opposite phases. Okay, 2 to 30. A new lemma, barrel count must take work. And it's okay. probably shorter than 200. It used to be a lemma if small matrix is then barrel count must take, but it's like if huge matrix then also barrel count must take. Oh. Furthermore. Uh, okay, so they have some. Okay, good. skip, skip, skip. <laughs> So 200 is indeed is smaller than this. Uh, yes, I'm running Windows and Virtual mm. Machine with Linux. Wow. Do you know that? Yeah. Do you know how to do it? <laughs> Unfortunately, I do. Uh, all right. Where are the problems? It's yours. Okay. Mm. You need to. You're given some graph. Wow. Now you need to uh, split people into pairs so that everybody is in a pair with his neighbor from a graph or neighbor of his neighbor. Here, one good split into pairs is AC, <laughs> BD, because B and D are a distance at most two, okay. and EF. This is one good is, it, is it some greedy with the effort? Yeah, yeah. So it still works if I remove those. Like all, I find a solution always if this is a forest and every tree has even size. Yeah. Uh, okay. We it's indeed greedy when you have some guy and he has a bunch of children. I run DFSs for those children, and. Every child needs to tell me if he was paired up with something, so already used, then I forget about it. Or maybe this guy wasn't paired up, his yeah, yeah. children were. Mm -hmm. so, right, and now I have, let's say, five such unpaired children. Then I pair them up, it's allowed yes. to do so. Okay. And if I'm left with one child, then I pair it up with me. And if no children, so if the number of then unpaired children even, then yourself. I'm paired with a parent, so nothing can be messed up uh, is if the total size is even. Yeah. It's not like easy. Okay. Let's keep it. No, 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 not done. Three queries. Okay. So and there's a by binary tree with constant depth. Uh it has like two to the power of thirty leaves. Uh, and this these are numbered to, from left to right. Okay, go on. And we have defined leftness of some of some leaf, and the leftness is the number of times we go to the left when we travel from the roots to the leaf. Like choose okay. some leaf and Maybe travel. Left, right, right, left. Yeah. Uh, and can you number them? Like okay. write the numbers from from zero. zero. Yes, zero in time. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. The one we were looking at is six. Yeah, and the leftness is the number of times we go left. Uh, it's not hard to see that the leftness the is that number of bits. Sure, number of bits set to zero or mm -hmm. nothing, and we have. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, and every leaf has uh, some value, additional value. At the beginning, all of them are zero. Like, okay. okay. Uh, and we have two types of queries. One query is to add some x to every leaf at some interval of indices. Right. Uh, yeah, it's like plus x. Uh, and the second, uh, second. Where is from all the leaves in the tree, 
with leftness between some to, from some range, uh, some up there, they right. Uh, okay. Okay. So, for example, we want the some of va values uh, of all the leaves with leftness between one and five or something. So it turns out that for each query where we, where we uh, add x to some leaves, we just need to know how many leaves in this interval have which leftness. So, so it boils down to let's say in a prefix, so among numbers let's say from zero to some kind of n, what's the number of numbers with two zeros, with three zeros, yeah, with thirty that, zeros? Yeah, that's the thing that we okay. have. Okay, like, uh, digit DP or something easier? Uh, something easier even. Uh, like if you have some number written in binary, uh, then let's assume that we want to want it from zero to n minus one. It'll be sure. better. Okay, then you like, will do something with prefixes, right? Yeah, I just want to find the first one that will okay. change to zero. Either this or this or this. Those yeah. three are formats of them. Yeah, and here I. Recompute some uh, binomials. Don't want it be like log cubic, log four? Seems like no. Log... It's like log cubic, only. like thirty to the thirty square. Oh, okay. Because so you have thirty of these, and for each of them here, you iterate over how many zeros to yeah. put there, and you precompute the binomials. Okay, fine. And I had a, a nice bug. Uh, you might remember it. Uh, like I was iterating from 29 to 0 to find the position of this one, but as uh, it's an open interval, the first one, if, if, okay. so if, you, if it's exactly 2 to the power of 30, then... You increased n by 1, first, to say that smaller... It, it was given like that in the input. Oh, okay. So, yeah, yes. Okay. Let's see. I also would do 0, 29, like I always yeah. do exactly that. <laughs> Uh, oh. yeah, that's all. This is a common thing for digit DP that you, if you want to satisfy smaller than n, you either do DP with boolean flag, whether you already got smaller than something, or you split into log cases. I used this a few days ago, I don't remember where. Right, done. Uh, finishing the stream and some pizza and games. Yeah. Right. Chat. Any questions? Like in a few minutes, we are finishing the stream. I will check if Mike wrote to me. Mike is organizer of the contest. He gave us access. I mean, it's an open contest. You can find it in Code Forces. Uh, Xalos suggested to me this contest, and he told. But it was quite easy, I think. Yeah, so he told me that I can try to do it myself. And yeah. I replied that I prefer to do it maybe in a team of two, not three. So it would, the stream wouldn't be for five, five hours. But also uh, I was told that this is this was maybe too hard for that contest, so for that sub-regional. So I assumed that it's reasonably hard. Yeah, uh, like, but, well, it's a sub I think that it wasn't boring. So I think that it's a nice contest for sub sub-regional. Yeah didn't have st stupid implementation problems like uh, everything but it medium... might be bad for such sub regionals i'm not sure maybe yeah M maybe if you're not the best then you want to practice using contest with some stupid boring implementation problems uh, but for us this <clears throat> is the best kind of easy contest because it wasn't annoying i mean geometry is always annoying <laughs> What's your friend ranked on code forces? Uh, this three 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 seven, nice rating. Thank you. What will you do now? What's your schedule? <laughs> schedule. Uh, pizza, games, and then go home. ICPC twenty twenty one. No, we yeah. are both retired. Unfortunately. Yeah, that was nice times. So we participated <clears throat> once together in the finals. And I participated one more time before that, and he did one more time after that with a new team. 
I got bronze, he got silver. Or gold. Or gold? Yeah. Gold. Which place? Fourth. Uh, <laughs> silver. <laughs> kind of. Uh, okay. uh, and we can finish now. Uh, so, sure. Thank you for watching and maybe I will do more screencasts in the next two weeks because there is Petrozavod's camp. Uh, are you participating along or not? I see, probably yes, but maybe we'll write some together some content which are like open cut. Okay. It would be bad to... But then I guess you will do it with uh, Schwistak and MNB Vimar. What a... You will do that your own thing? No, if we'll have login then maybe it won't matter what what we'll do. Okay. Was Radeusz qualify for Hacker Cup final? You were, yeah, right? I was. He was. Yes. Uh, did you not get to <clears throat> Code Jammer Hacker Cup in the past three years? Yes, and the and last Code Jam we both didn't qualify. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Hacker cap is easier than code <laughs> yeah. to go to the finals. I, yeah. Maybe a few fewer people participate. I don't know. But code gem is never easy for me to get to the finals. And hacker cap code gem up. has like the hardest problem yeah. around the world. Yes, but I mean relative difficulty. Like how to is it easy <clears throat> to get in top twenty five? Maybe just I don't like code gem problems because they are hard and other people do well. I think that hacker cup in hacker cup you need more speed. Like uh, it's easier to get to the final of, of hacker cup, but if some of your problems fails, then you are already screwed up. So okay. it's easier for hacker yeah. cup. But, uh, the speed of solving the first problem matters more because yeah, it's time of times, definitely. not the last time. So that explains why I do well. Easy problems for the win. Yes. Yeah. Uh, we were both in the finals and we both got a VR headset. Yeah. Every finalist of Facebook Hacker Cup got mm. Oculus Quest 2, the new VR headset. And that's like the best goodie slash prize to, for all the finalists yeah, ever. It's a way better than memory stick or something. Yeah, usually <laughs> you get a t shirt. <laughs> Why Code Dream is hard? Mm. Ask the organizers. Maybe they just have experienced yeah. organizers who are able but to invent. They kind of have to be prepared that 25 of the best people from the world is coming to, uh, to them and they have to be entertained. Like around three people mainly prepare Google Code Jam and apparently they are able to come up yeah, with very yeah, hard they, problems. They, they're doing a great job. Like the problems are very, very did, good quality. Did you ever meet Zach? I didn't. Did you? No, of course. No. But no, maybe not, of course. I think it would make sense if he showed up for Hacker Cup finals. Yeah, I suppose. I mean, like, isn't, <laughs> we, he, isn't he interested? With a bottle of vodka. Yeah, like in the movie Social Network, he looks like the guy who would be interested. Okay, but now maybe he has like a million times more money. Or life or something like that. Okay. If, if we won like ICPC finals, <laughs> then maybe we would meet up with President of Poland. Oh, actually, the Prime Minister of Poland in some uh, uh, interview. Oh, in some interview, mm, telling that on last, uh, it was a few years ago, on last ICPC, there were two Polish teams in top six on ICPC. He knew. Yeah, so he, he knew about me. Yeah, I think in Russia, at least sometimes Putin meets with <laughs> the winning team. I think so. Don't quote me on that. Zook was also a competitive programmer. Are you sure? Like, like in Code Forces? Maybe Top Coder. Top Code Forces didn't exist back then. I don't. That's a good question. Has <laughs> <laughs> Putin? I think that he did, but I will ask. Yeah. Do you think so? I I think that some ICPC winners, like in some years. Okay. If some uh, some competitive programmer, programmer from Russia met Putin, then it definitely has to be Gennady. Well, maybe somebody older if As Putin used to meet. In 
impacts on everything. All right, I did, but I don't think he's online. If he uh, answers in one minute, then it means he's online, so I will tell you. Where are you asking? Via Messenger, but I don't think it matters. Could be this card, would it matter? He was green You're on top cutter. Zuckerberg is green on the top cutter. <laughs> what a pussy. <laughs> okay. Uh, stop. I can do it here. Whoa. United States. United States. Member since April 2002. Drink population <laughs> sounds like Zuckerberg. Simple math and C. At least he used C. <laughs> But it, is it him? Uh, I think somebody okay, was is linked him. Was Facebook known in 2002? Because maybe it's too old to. For example, probably now you can find some. So it's him. I, I mean that so. before the, the date, probably nobody wanted to have nickname like that. Like, or can you change nicknames in Top Color? No, probably not. Like now um, everybody wants to have a nickname like Gennady Kurtkevich, but 15 years ago it didn't make any sense. So... Uh, it was also posted in Reddit and nobody denied. So I think that's him. Nice. Uh, and he's green. He, he, was, but he, was going, he was going up. So I. it seems that here he tried for the first time competitive programming and then and that, that's a fine slope, I guess. But it's that months of... Oh, 2002. Yeah. And th this is all within two months. It's not that in two months you will get 2000 rating. Also, maybe some inflation and it, people had slower rating. Probably he's a target right now. <laughs> maybe. Oh, challenges. Uh, a lot, he, he made a lot of challenges. But, and he eight. passed only one level three problem. <clears throat> right. Uh, well, yeah, Gennady, I don't think he's online, so we will not know. Cool. Uh, okay. Stats IOI, what? <laughs> what is that? Uh, I don't think what, what's posted in the chat is Zuckerberg. <laughs> he doesn't seem so. Uh, Adam D'Angelo, who is that? I, I don't know. Is it also some CEO? Uh, oh, oh, uh, CEO of Quora. Yeah, Quora um, employs a lot of competitive programmers. I heard, and the the CEO is was a medalist of IOI, I believe. Th Whoa. This is what I knew. So I, I think, like among big CEOs, he's the best at competitive programming. Red on top coder? If yes, then that's very nice. Do you have a link, guys? Danjo. That's a short nickname, so. Wow. Member since 2002. Nice. And when did he? 2005. Ah, oh, but like in section and stuff. nice. He he was in semi-finals of is is that top color open? T C C C. I have no idea. T C O for qualification, wow. but I think it's called T C O. Maybe it's some strange regional. But he's no. he's nice. Like it's something. Yeah, it's something. All right, it's fine to use Quora. They should have asked Zach in testimony, are you green on top color? Yeah, imagine some US senator uh, <laughs> saying, Mr. Zach, are you green on top color? <laughs> or what's your rating? Cool. Okay, let's finish the stream. Thank you everybody for watching. Thanks for those for participating okay. with me. My pleasure. And thanks to Xalos for suggesting this contest to write and for Mike for well preparing the problems. I think he was co-author, I don't think 
how problems are his, but I don't know to be honest. All right, and G, see you. See you guys.